So it's August 17th. You can see we're very much at the end of our flowering period here now with the carrots. So now is the time actually to take that enclosure off so I can allow more airflow to get into the enclosure. And there's a few flowers here that are open, but these aren't actually going to set seed. So I'll either cut them off or just, you know, they'll get, um, they won't even get pulled off when it comes to harvest time. So looking pretty good. Uh, I do have a bit of lodging in that center portion and I do see some of the primary umbels here are starting to mature really nicely. So, uh, you know, following up on my last, um, you know, there's a, there's a, there's an umbel that's ready. That is looking good. One here. So this is great getting this, this early seed set on some of these. I might even mark those as the sort of primary umbels. Uh, yeah, really, really happy with things. We do have this section of lodging here, and I'm a little bit more here, even with the um, even with the uh, trellising. So it's a little trickier when in these wider beds to keep them upright. So really, I may want to do these in just uh, narrower rows and more trellises. I'll have to think about that for the future. And uh, yeah, I'll go take a look inside the enclosure to see how it's looking in there. But yeah, we can see lots of seeds drying down really good in the middle of August here. So. I'm going to say August 17th is, you know, definitely first seed heads ready. And yeah, and I don't see, uh, I don't see any bird damage or anything here as well. So I'm happy to leave these. There's no rain in the forecast. So no stressing out about getting them out of the ground too quickly. So I'll maybe come once a week and start cutting umbels off soon. And yeah, this is uh, looking good. So this enclosure, I might even take the enclosure off today. Trellis up this one side. And that way we've got good airflow in there and we don't have to hopefully have reduced, we'll have reduced pest damage. Hopefully reduces the likelihood of aphids as well. And uh, yeah, stuff will get uh, some direct sunlight to mature.